sort of sounding narcissistic. I don't really have friends. I don't keep many friends. And the reason is simple. I believe very strongly that the people you call friends have a tendency to influence you, whether you like it or not. Humans are social beings. The majority of the influence we receive are often a result of the influence we receive from others. In saying so, your friends can readily tell you who you are. Some years ago, I was taking my usual evening walk, meditating along the street. Suddenly, someone ran up to me from the other side of the road. It was an old friend. Apparently, he had just emerged from a bar that was on that side of the road. He complained that he had been calling me but I didn't respond. He complained I had suddenly stopped reaching out to him. I stopped calling him and never visited him anymore. Truth is, back when we were in high school, we were best friends. In fact, we were so close my parents knew him. He would visit me constantly and I would visit him too. But there is something about catching a dream and getting a firm direction for your life. You drop everyone who isn't going your way or encouraging you to become that dream. So, I dropped this guy, despite how close we were, because all he always wanted to talk about was the next party and getting laid. This is what most successful people have in common. If I know anything about successful people, it is that they have this nasty habit of choosing who their friends are. The reason is simple. Jim Ron already says that you're the average of the five persons you spend most of your time with. Meaning, successful people know that they would become like the people they associate with. So, they spend most of their time with people who are going in the same direction as them. Even if they would party with them or drink with them, they understand that these people are the kind of people and so allow them around them. I met a man once who taught me something very crucial about success. I had visited him so we could discuss a job. When he asked for my price and I quoted a very low price, he picked me up and talked some sense into me. He made me see that I was undercharging because I was underestimating myself. He said, I may not have all the money I need now, yet it's no reason to undercharge or to look down on myself. Then he gave me a piece of advice that was encouraging. When I wanted to become rich, I knew I had to change my thinking first. So I went to places and restaurants rich people visited. Although I couldn't afford most of the expensive things there, I sat there and observed them. When forced, I bought a drink that would cost me almost a month's paycheck. I didn't mind. I also visited car lots and prized new cars I couldn't afford. I did this so often, even though I wasn't rich until I had the mindset of a rich person. And so, when I'm talking to you, you will think I have all the money in the world. No, my mindset has changed. See, just hanging around successful people affected his mind. How much more if a person who wants to succeed keeps hanging around people who aren't going anywhere? I befriended the man, although he was older, and we are still in business together today. To succeed, you must choose your friends. Most successful people I have met do not believe this, but you're the sum total of your environment. Your life is majorly the result of the friends you keep. Oprah Winfrey said, surround yourself only with people who are going to take you higher. Surround yourself with people who are going somewhere, because if you don't, you'll find yourself going in their direction of failure, even though you plan to succeed. When I was growing up, I heard about people who were married but had ailing marriages. I heard about couples who cheated on their spouses. And most of the reasons I observed was one spouse choosing to hang around an ex or just some opposite sex they consider friends. So, while still preparing to settle down in marriage, I cut off from old friends and readily vowed to make my spouse my best friend. Most people may not agree with this, but if you know where you're going, you have to understand the price you're willing to pay to get there. You cannot succeed beyond the companies you keep. You cannot advance beyond the friends you keep. Most young people wonder that it is difficult to leave a friendship relationship because they do not want to hurt the other person, even though the friendship isn't positively affecting them. But one thing is sure, 20 friends may never last a lifetime. Back at the university, I had countless friends. I was so popular and made friends with so many people. To add to it, I had read Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. So I was dutifully using the lessons there to increase my circle of friends. Yet, less than a year after we graduated from university, we all parted ways. Most left the state while some left the country. Up till today, I have only one friend with whom I was friends with back in school and we contact each other once every few months. Am I saying you should never have friends? No. 
But successful people are so busy trying to make the most of their lives, they do not have the time to play catch up. Successful people are so focused that they would only have time for people who are going in the same direction as them. Because they have everything to lose and so much to gain, they are very careful who their friends are and will not be compelled to mingle with folks who are going nowhere. You won't always have to ignore people the rest of your life, but you will keep an arm's length those who aren't going the same place as you. Because whether you like it or not, bad communication corrupts good manners. If you want to succeed and go far, you have to be willing to cut off from your life people who negatively affect your journey. You have to decide what matters most to you, your life's success or the relationship that is holding you back from becoming your best. Eventually, there will always be consequences for the company you keep, either the company of successful people that move you forward or the company of wrong friends that push you backward. If you are determined to be successful, then you should review who your friends are. The reason is this. Successful people reserve no apologies for friendship relationships that aren't bettering their lives. Why should you, if you intend to succeed? If this video inspired you, share the video. We love you.